Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna tour this beautiful fifth wheel. This is a new to me brand, so I'm super excited to bring this to you. It's the 2024 Shasta Phoenix 336 RL. Now, just like always, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff will be down in the description along with my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, I'm in a pretty good position to truly help get you the best price no matter where you are out in the country. And I would love to work with you. So reach on out to me. We're gonna start on the inside, work our way around the outside, really show you what this thing's all about. But again, it's the 2024 Phoenix 336 RL. And I love seeing all those decals, that weather shield, that Lions Head 125 Lifetime, and the Asdale. Asdale's just nice in general. If you're not familiar with it, really helps with the longevity you know, of your camper. Uh, and if I didn't say it before, I upped the uh, yearly goal here to 40,000 in 23, as far as subscribers are concerned. So take a moment, hit that like and subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. But right off the bat, the first thing that I noticed when I came in is Shasta's got that wow factor for the price point on a mid-profile RV. Very few RVs will stack up to this thing aesthetically. I mean, look at this. You get the dark kind of trim, you get the light appliances, a lighter wood here in the middle along the island. Just looks absolutely beautiful. The island too, by the way, it's one of those ones that have kind of the stools there. So I like that just for kind of maybe that downtime, that rainy time. So I'm really enjoying that. As far as slide heights are concerned, I am six feet tall. You're gonna see you got a slide height of just about 6'1", is where I'm gonna go with on that. And what that also allows you to get are these big open windows, and they're all for viewing, and they're all for a nice breeze as well. So you're gonna notice each and every one opens up, so that way you can take advantage of those nice you know, fall days. They're also gonna feature the old Dracula shade. Stop the skin from sizzling, keep some nosy eyes out, help regulate maybe some of that temperature on those real hot days where the sun's beating down. Another thing that you're gonna notice, no carpet. You know, so you got those uh, the vinyl slides right there. So I love seeing that. Table for four, I've got it covered up. We just got it in. You know, gotta keep it good for the walk-ins. So, you know, it's got a pretty basic decor on top. It's a brown table, it looks really nice. But you do get four chairs and a place that pulls out a little bit more so you can sit down, play some cards with a good view you know, and enjoy uh, enjoy some of that daytime or that nighttime, you know, uh, card life there. It's all about relaxing when you go camping. At least for me it is. So right here you got your Thomas Payne furniture. Pretty classic setup. You're going to have a couple different modes. Your heat, light, and massage. You're also going to see you get a couple cup holders and a place to store, you know, some of your remotes. This right here, pretty darn squishy. Sit down in it. Pretty darn comfy. And it's also gonna be one of those quick reclines where you can kick up and lay nearly flat too, which is a bonus. Uh, so that way, you know, if you're more of a recliner sleepa, sleeper than a sofa sleeper, this will be just fine for you. This is gonna be your view from your most right-sided uh, chair, right where you just saw me sitting. But you're gonna notice there's no, um, the island doesn't get in the way of the view right there. So pretty nice on that. Right over here, you're gonna notice you get the three cushion couch. So anytime you see those three cushions, you know there's gonna be a big old queen size pullout. So it's gonna come right to about here, just enough squeak through room, but it's a really good sleeping space. Even though it's traditionally a couple's coach, you do get the ability to still have the grandkids or maybe that Funkle that drank a little bit too much at the campground, you are good to go. Tinted windows, again, they all open up. Emergency exit's gonna be here and here. So pull, push, and plop, you can get out in a hurry if you ever need to. This back window still gets that big old Dracula shade. You're also going to get some pretty good overhead storage. And I love how the dark wood and that black glass, I think it just pairs up real well. And babe, if you're watching, I love you. I know she is putting in the extra work, starting the new job, doing some extra hours, you know, working that six days here for the uh, time being at least. And uh, shout out to you, babe. You're, uh, you're killing it. You're the glue to the family. Outlet, outlet, USB, USB. So that's awesome. Charge up your devices. You know, you're good to go. Not too much else to say about that. You get a ton of walk around room in this because of these opposing slides. So super slide over here, super slide over there. Love to see it, but check out all that space 
you know, around the island. You know, I'm a, uh, I'm a round belly myself, so kind of spatial awareness is something that I really focus on in RV. You know, can I walk in there with a couple buddies and not feel, you know, cramped as can be? And this one is a big yes. Round belly approved. So right here, you're going to have a big old TV, a little bit of countertop space to maybe put a couple things. It also feeds through, so you got the little hole there. Um, so that way you can put maybe like a PlayStation or DVD player or something like that down here. Furion soundbar with HDMI, USB, and the aux port for zones one and two. So that's going to be inside and outside. You also get your 36-inch Greystone fireplace. If you're not familiar with those, it's basically an electric fireplace. That's an uh, electric space heater. It's a little bit fancy. Puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So in an RV this size, it'll heat up the entirety of this room on a day you know, that's moderately chilly, you know, like 45, 50 degrees or so. You won't have to turn on the propane. So that's really nice. Save some money when you can. Residential style fan right there. Love seeing that. Keep moving along this slide. Really nice size pantry. And you got a light here that I can click on to show you. But check this out. You even got the little grooves right there. But you can pack a ton of food away. You even get a little outlet if you want to turn this into like a little margarita bar action or, you know, put some little electronic here and there like a blender, I suppose. I mean, I'd probably put it over there, but I ain't going to knock anybody. Three of these pullouts. One, two, and three. So how nice is that? Keeps you nice and organized. And then again, you get that black ice right there. I just think that's looking nice. Greystone oven. I like seeing that. That's going to be a little bit larger than most of your uh, you know, kind of the classic, you know, little guys. So you can fit, you know, a couple chickens in there. You're also going to see, get a little garbage can action. Solid surface countertops again. And then underneath here, you got your three stovetop burner to cook up all the fixings. You got yourself a window, high point microwave. Storage to the left, that's pretty cool. That's a first for me. I've never really seen it like that. Usually it's like a a drawer and then you just, I don't know, but I, I really like the way that looks. I think it's pretty cool. And then you got your ever chill smart refrigerator, you know, as well. So definitely a good upgrade compared to, you know, most of the market in general. It's also going to be a 12 volt. So it'll run off of, you know, solar or your battery when you're driving down the road. So it has the function of your home refrigerator, but the versatility of being an RV refrigerator with that 12 volt setup but it's not going to heat up, you know, when the sun's beating down on that side and cause you any problems. You know, those uh, gas and electric ones, when the sun's beating down on this side, they'll actually heat up a little bit, which is always a bummer. But that's going to be your smart control where you can lock it, shows the temperature. Um, you know, you can even hook up to it on your cell phone. I've never been that highfalutin to do that, but I guess it's something you can do. Before I get to this, I'm going to show you this island. This is one of my favorite parts about this uh, entire camper. I think it just really just adds to it. Look at the decor coming there. Again, you got those stools. You're also gonna see just plenty of space to kind of move around with your legs. All of it's gonna be one solid surface, which is great. You even get the cutouts for the sink. So it's gonna be a stainless steel undermounted bowl, one piece, which is great. You also get the high-rise faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles, baby. Even that was pretty fancy. You see how that opened? It's got that little cutout nook. I think that's just a nice little touch. Clean cut storage with access to your plumbing. All right, now back to over here. This is the fun part. Bunch of junk drawers. You also get a place where you can hook up, you know, that blender or that Keurig. But check out all this storage. Now, this is pretty darn incredible. One big space there. You're also going to notice the copper tabs. Always a big time plus. It's a perk for sure. Look at that. Three of those. And then you also get... Three of these. This is my camera gear, but you could imagine fitting a whole bunch of stuff. I know in my family, it would be a, a wreck here in a heartbeat. That's going to be your fuse box, so if something's not working, make sure to check there. Of course, you got all your controls for your lighting systems. This storage is going to be similar both left and right. And then the middle is going to be just a hair smaller, but still really nice and functional. And you still get that just a little bit of a lip right there to help things from rattling around. Give you one more little look around ski here. Look at the lighting above the island too. I think it's pretty nice. I think that right there is going to be my thumbnail. I think I'm going to put my big old noggin right here, and I'll say something like "super nice RV up top." Really draw in the people. So one thing I love about this brand is going to be the fact that it does come with 
tank heaters as well for your fresh tank and your waste tank. That's just going to be nice. Not only do you have the Asdale, a little bit added insulation, but you also get your tank heaters. So you're going to be able to use this really deep or really early into the season, which is a huge time plus. You also get to check all your tank fills, everything in one convenient place, all your slide outs, your awning, a couple of your lights. Put the exterior lights on just like that. Boom. Making life easy. You get a grab handle going up into the stairs. I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but that's a little night light that automatically kicks on. I think the flooring is just looking nice. And the bathroom, pretty darn snazzy. It's not the biggest bathroom in the world, but it's got a nice size shower. It's got enough room where you can sit down and do your business. You know, even if you're a little bit bigger, it's also got the porcelain throne. So, you know, I'm moving, I'm grooving, as you can see. Like I said, I'm a roundy. But, uh, you know, I got enough room, so surely most, uh, most people will too. Look at that shower. It's incredible. You also get the Tri-Glide Glass Series, so that way you can get into it just a little bit easier. But you can see I'm not taping any sponges to the walls. You're getting clean nice and easy. Yeah, doesn't get any better than that. It's got everything you need, baby. Little medicine cabinet behind the mirror. There's the old bowling gun, baby. Can't wait. I'm under two weeks away from starting back up. I've been missing it. I've been missing it for sure. Just the sound of the old crack. The old pine floor. <laughs> Couple little friendly octopus doodads waiting for you to hang up their towels. They're begging for something to dry. Then you got the Furion gas water heater. I'll talk a little bit about that on the outside. Uh, but that is basically endless heat. Fantastic water system. I love to see that. And I'm assuming that is probably a 2024 upgrade like a lot of the brands are doing these days. Now, I turned the AC on loud up here on as much as you could. This is going to be, you know, setting for lowest way you can go. It's a hot day. It's 95 degrees out. So this thing's going to be working because I wanted to hear you know how loud it is and you can tell it is not that bad so i love hearing it i don't know exactly what ac they've got but um, i'll have to check it very very quiet you got your bed with your headrest windows on both sides which is always nice for a good view bed opens up really clean cut storage that strut system is also fantastic you can really tell that it's sturdy that'd be more like a touch and feel thing when you actually come out to the lot and check it out by the way the new location is in wilmington ohio so if you guys are out this way, stop in, say hello, maybe drop a Google review, Lazy Days Wilmington of Ohio. Uh, you know, let them know, uh, let them know what I'm about. I want people to come in and know that uh, they're very well taken care of. You know, I genuinely care, and that's the kind of culture that I want to breed here. So I get kind of the leeway to do some of that stuff too, which is pretty nice. Prepped up for washer and dryer, and you can see the size of this. This is going to have the, I'm assuming, the Rhino pin box. Uh, that's the only way they could really get this front. We'll check on the outside. But you can fit a fully stackable washer. So this can be more of home on the road, you know, if you need. Plus you got this little nook for anything that, uh, maybe like shoes or something that you don't always want to put up there. But all right, guys, I think that's about it for the inside portion of the tour. The outside portion will be a little quick because uh, it is uh, hot as can be. And I am not a guy that likes to uh, die to make these videos. But uh, yeah, 2024 Phoenix. 336 RL. Hope you guys like it. And if you've made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button for me. And again, too, just in case you forgot, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will all be found down in the description of this video. Big old awning. Let me block that sun out. You got a big awning right here with the LED lights running underneath, just looking really sharp. I also like the Phoenix logo. I think they crushed it with that. It kind of reminds me of like a house from Harry Potter or something. It would make for a good, uh, a good tattoo. Now I'm surprised I haven't really heard about this brand. Established in 1941, so they're obviously tried and true. They're built well. I like walking into it. They look good. Uh, I just never worked for a dealership that sold them before. There's going to be your marine grade exterior speakers. Huge pass through storage. Love seeing that. Propane right over here. It also shows off some of that aluminum construction. You're also going to see you got a couple outlets, a battery disconnect, which is probably for the solar, I would imagine. And then your automatic leveling will be right over there too. But notice no exposed wood. It's going to be with that Astrofoil. 
outlet right here, but then I also want to show you this. It is prepped for the camera safety system. Let me see. Yeah, so the three camera safety system. One on this side, one on the other, and then one heading up the back. So that's a great feature to have just for uh, you know safety purchase purposes or maybe just ending an argument at the campground. Again, you got the tank heaters for the heated and enclosed underbelly. You can see it's all buttoned up. The Lippert solid steps, you just flip those up into the door. Very sturdy, a lot of brands are coming with it. It's got that weather tape, so that way you can get in and out securely, even in you know some uh, less than stellar weather. The old granny handle to help you get on up, really nice and big. Again, you got the Asdale. And then the Lions had 125 lifetime warranty. So that's gonna be first year, no excuse. Well, you're, you can read, pause that up. Basically, it's a great warranty there for your tires. Internet upgradable, I forgot to show you that, but in the bedroom, there's this little white little knob, and that is where you can add in 4G, LTE, and Wi-Fi. So you can call up like you know, AT&T or Verizon and kind of get some of that stuff installed, which is always a big time plus. You can put a slide topper on all the slides on this, and a slide topper is basically a piece of awning that goes from here to here that really helps prevent and protect your slide from anything that could fall on top of it you know, tree branches, pine needles, you know, whatever. Even the sun not beating down on your seals is always a plus. LP Quick Connect, right where that little yellow tab is. So you can hook up, you know, next to your grill or something like that, it goes right to your propane. Bumper with a hitch going up to your ladder. Uh, it is a fully walkable roof. The ladder's got a weight rating of 250 pounds. Sorry guys, can't quite get up there, but I wish I could someday. A new job's helped me losing weight though. Went from a, a desk sales job to kind of a run and gun sales management position. Loving life right now. A lot to learn, very exciting. Rear observation camera prepped. So if you don't want all three, you can just do that, which is always a plus. And again, you know, you can put the slide toppers on both of these as well. Spare tire located right under there. And then you got your, your outlets right there for your, um, for your dumps. So that's that Furion hot water heater. Let me show you this thing. This is a mean mamma jamma right there. That thing puts out some serious heat and for a long time. So even though this is the couples coach, if you have those guests over, you know, like um, you know, some of my kids, they just shower forever, really drain that hot water. You don't have to worry about it with that Furion. Really nice system. You guys will be happy you got it. You know, that's kind of one of those um, Features tell, benefits sell type thing. The feature is it's great. <laughs> the uh, benefit is you can use it for pretty much ever. Hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower. You got your tank uh, flush, your valve hookups. The black tank flush, if you're not familiar, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. So you'll be happy you got that, you know, when you're cleaning things out. All your different waste and liquid water holding valves. All your cable hookups, outlets, tank fills, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, the battery switch and the leveling. You also see everything's welded at all the points, which is a bonus. You also get the uh, slam latch doors. Dry weight, 10,512 pounds. So it's not overwhelmingly heavy, but it's not light either. You're still gonna need a bigger size truck to be pulling this thing around. But, uh, you know, I think you'd be really happy with this. I, uh, I really do. I think they're pretty darn nice, pretty snazzy. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, my name is Hunter. Help me out with that like and subscribe. This was the 2024 Phoenix 336RL. Have a great night. See ya.